Welcome to video number five of the AdWords Editor video training tutorial course brought to you by ppccampaigngenerator.com. In this video, I want to touch on the other menu features within AdWords Editor. And I want to start by saying, in general, you don't want to get into a habit of going up to these menu items to make changes within your account. The reason is, you have the same exact access to these features within the interface here. So for example, if you go up to the edit menu, you have access to the revert feature, the cut, copy, paste, select all, delete. You have that same access right here within the data grid. You can simply select something, hit delete. You can revert it by right clicking it, hitting revert. You can go to a campaign, you can control C to copy it, control V to paste it, and you just duplicated it. If you did it the way by going to the edit menu, what would happen is you would go select, edit, copy, edit, paste, and there's more steps involved doing that when you can simply use your keyboard shortcuts or the mouse to make your changes. So don't get into a habit of going up to the edit menu to make changes within your account. Instead, use the keyboard shortcuts or the mouse to right click and make your changes. The next feature is this account menu and again you don't want to get into a habit of going here because you can do everything you need to do right here along this toolbar. So if I want to get recent changes I simply click it and I get recent changes. Instead of going to account, get recent account changes, basic or include first page bid estimates. It's just a slower way of doing it. The only thing that you could do is view activity manager and this will show you current accounts that are posting changes or getting changes but really that's not a big deal. Then you have this data menu. The data menu has other features again that you really don't need to know how to use because you have access to within the interface. So for example let's say I'm in the add groups tab. I want to add a new ad group. I can go to data, add groups, add new ad group, hit OK, and there's my ad group. If you compare that process with clicking this button, add ad group, it's a lot quicker. So there's really no reason you should use the data menu. The only thing I use the data menu for is this sort feature. So for example, let's say we're on the keywords tab we go up to data and let's say we want to sort the ad group name from A to Z and then we want to sort the keyword name from A to Z. Hit OK and you'll see multiple sort boxes here and this has one on it and this has two on it so what it's doing is it's sorting the ad group first from A to Z and within the ad group it's sorting the keywords from A to Z. So there's a multi-sort going on, similar to the way you would do it in Excel. So this is very useful, especially when you want to sort by match type. For example, all active keywords to the top, all paused keywords to the bottom, and also sort on, for example, conversions. So it's really useful, and you can also sort simply by clicking the columns here, and it will sort top to bottom, bottom to top, or you can clear it by clicking it again. The tools menu has very useful features. I'm going to make separate videos around each of these useful tools. I'll also make a video around the settings. And then lastly we have the help menu. This just contains information about AdWords Editor, quick links to get to the help center, getting started guide, um, the current terms of use in case you're bored, and information about AdWords Editor. And I don't find myself going to those very often. So really, the main things I use and you should use from this menu area is the import and export features. On the data tab, use the sort feature. And on the tools, I'll show you how to use all of these tools. So that completes it for this video. In the next videos, I'll talk about how to use the tools in AdWords Editor. Thanks for watching.